Hello, hello. Is everybody here? Is everyone here? Just checking. It's coffee time. It really is. I don't know. I don't know what's in the news. Should we do, should we do funnies? No. Do you remember the Spotify thing? We had a um, lot of celebrities pulling their music from Spotify. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Remember had Neil Young, uh, Joni Mitchell, Mills Logfren, all the rest of them, uh, uh, rest of uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young apparently have pulled some of their music. There you go, that's, that's good. But more importantly, um, and this was the one that really shocked me, um, there's a comedian. Again, this is, <laughs> again, if you're in the, uh, if you're in the UK, <laughs> you're not going to know who this person is. Um, but Stuart Lee, who's a, who's a comedian, uh, has pulled his, his, um, material from Spotify. Now, I'm, I was a big fan. No, I'm a big fan of Stuart Lee. Um, but yeah, he, he's pulled his, his stuff off there and this was his statement he says I'm fully aware this will make no financial difference to Spotify whatsoever but for too long internet platforms have been able to spread lies with impunity free from the checks and balances that govern traditional publishers and broadcasters and their efforts to correct this still do not go far enough perhaps artists big and small can band together to do something to change this where money men won't again I'm sure Stuart Lee I don't think he's ever watched a, a Joe Rogan podcast. I think he just heard it from from someone else, from one of his cool friends, maybe one of the one of the his cooler friends. But yeah, so you can no longer get his uh, comedy uh, from uh, from Spotify. And this is a time where Spotify apparently is, is was supposed to be paying a a a lesser rate to comedians. So maybe you know. But anyway, you can. You can still see his material on iPlayer, home, you know, BBC, home of the BBC, you know, the BBC, that place that broadcasts, you know, that that carefully hid the Jimmy Savile uh, controls. You can get you can get his material at the BBC, <laughs> home of home of, home of Jimmy Savile. <laughs> it's just it's gone beyond parody now. But don't worry, folks. I mean, again, he's entitled to do that. But I just think it's, it just makes me laugh. I just find it very, very funny. The whole $100 million contract, Joe Rogan versus the rest of the world. But a bigger controversy um, happened on the Mars Singer. We've got that. We've got that over here. Apparently, um, during a recent episode of the Mars Singer, the uh, contestant re- revealed himself. As they do, <laughs> because that's the whole point of it. I don't know if you've ever watched it. Um, uh, the idea that well, it's all in the title. Various people, celebrities, don a costume, and you have to guess them by their singing style. Well, um, hosts or judges, uh, Ken Young, I think that's how you say his name, and Robin Thick of Blurred Lines fame. I, th- I think he's been uncancelled. Um, Walked off stage because uh, the the masked singer was revealed to be Rudy Giuliani. We remember him from we remember him from uh, Borat, but yeah, Ken and Robin quickly exited stage left in protest. I think we've got we've got a picture of we've got a picture of Rudy Giuliani here. There we are. I think that's I think that's a picture of him. Um, but yeah, we have the masked singer in the UK, and I'm, I'm quite expecting Dominic Cummings to to turn up now. And Jonathan Ross to storm off <laughs> in protest. Um, so yeah, that that made me laugh. That was a that's a funny old thing, wasn't it? Mars Singer. Right? But yeah, I reckon I reckon our fluffy haired leader Boris Johnson might be. He's got twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. I don't know. I reckon he might be. It might be all over him for all his all his advisors have left and and Rishi Sunak has. Uh, has been sticking the knife in, so will our fluffy-haired leader be out of the door? Uh, who knows? Like I, I've always said, they're going to gra- they're going to drag him out, 
drag him out kicking and screaming. Um, meanwhile, if you've been on a bus in uh, Streatham, or as, the, or as the posh people call it, St. Retham, um, you'd have seen this. This is this is a 4.40 p.m. Uh, I think it was yesterday. On a double-decker bus. This, I just like this little loop that they've got. It's two kids fighting with a knife and a sword. Uh, look at this. It's like they're doing a little dance together. And that, folks, is why I don't use the bus. <laughs> I don't think they really. I don't think they really meant it, do they? I think they were just uh, doing a little doing a little dance off. It was um, street dance, surely. Sorry, just uh, just drinking my coffee there. So what else have we got in the news? Um, yeah, in order to um, in order to fight COVID, the Scottish government have come up with a really good plan. What they're going to do is they're going to spend um, loads and loads of money cutting off a couple of inches off the bottom of doors to help airflow around the government buildings. I think they may even be extending it to schools as well. But it's like, why don't they just open the windows? What's that all about? Why do they have to cut um, cut the bottoms of the, the doors off? It's like, what? they've not really thought this through. Meanwhile, in Clapham, um, this is a very serious, very serious, very, very serious incident in southwest London. Um, it's a this is an odd one, but I can I, I I don't know whether this is deliberate or, but it's un, it's unfortunate because the the footage has been has been subsequently deleted since uh, it was um, it was posted, but some postmen they they. Again, I don't know how true. It, I get, it, yeah, it smells like, like a, it smells. It has a whiff of a fake story in there, and they've pulled the, um, they've pulled the story. But some the postman in in in, in, um, in Clapham couldn't deliver a box to an address, so they decided to open it, and inside was some uh, brownies. But the brownies were laced with cannabis, and they ate the brownies. And um, yeah, and this is all that's left of the story now. This is uh, let's see today. Almost all the posters in Clapham actually ate ash brownies, and they couldn't finish their delivery rounds because they were so high. And uh, apparently, this is one of them off his face of the brownies. But I don't know. I begin the feeling that I begin to feel that it's um, it's a fake story. I think it might be as Trump said, fake news. Yeah, what do you reckon? Fake news. But those of you out there who are worried, you, are you are you a fan of um, Colin the Caterpillar? No, you're not a fan of Colin the Caterpillar. Um, this is Colin the Caterpillar. If you've had a if you had a child's birthday recently, that's Colin the Caterpillar. But um, yeah, he's a, he's a stylized birthday cake. I can't I can't eat Colin anymore. It's the diabetes, you know. But there was a big controversy. How so? Because Audi had brought out this chap, Cuthbert, the cat caterpillar. Oh my god! Oh my god! They're passing off one fondant caterpillar for another. And yeah, there was a, there was a legal spat. But you'll be happy to know that Marks and Spencers and Audi have now. Come, they've settled their differences because uh, it was going to be um, uh, it was an intellectual property dispute <sighs> but they've managed to settle their differences the, again the details have, have been kept secret you know they settled out of court but it was it was heading to court but um, the high court um, signed off on an agreement between the two companies and uh, apparently both of them are going to still be selling their caterpillars I know. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. But yeah, you'd be happy to know that um, you can still get 
Colina or Cuthbert now. Meanwhile, this is a very important story. This is the story of a little boy called Edward. And that's called a, that's called a fire brigade out. And uh, um, what happened? Well, he only got his head stuck in the toilet seat, didn't he? <laughs> he got his head stuck in the, and that's cut him free. You know, you could say he was he was uh, flushed with embarrassment, but I bet I bet his parents weren't too happy with him. Um, some say he's a regular Ludini. You know, jokes, the jokes write themselves. Uh, I'll check if anyone's in the uh, chat rooms, but they never usually are because nobody likes these things. I do. Uh, Naz is in, and so is Paul Wadsley. Yeah, we're still here. Everything's still going great. Hopefully, it's giving you a little chuckle, and I'm off now. I've done other videos to be done, and I'll see you again soon. Don't forget, you've got to, you've got to drink it up. That was coffee time. So.